Thank you for coming and joining us online. We welcome our online community. If you're joining us from YouTube, welcome. For those on Instagram, Facebook, you're welcome. If you would like to share our handles on IG, we are the Fountain of Life Church. And on IG, we are the Fountain of Life Church. On YouTube, we are Fountain TV. And you can also fo follow our pastor's handle, our senior pastor, that is Pastor Jimmy Odukoya, at I am that PJ. And our associate senior pastor, Pastor Tolu Ijogun. You can follow her on IG, at Tolu Ijogun. You're welcome to the presence of God. So, as I said, this is our month of supernatural delivery. How have you been enjoying God's grace, God's favor this week? Hope you joined the fasting. And if you were not able to join the fasting, you can always prepare yourself in the presence of God because there's nothing more precious than the intimacy with Jesus. Jesus wants us to fellowship with him every moment of our lives, and it's never too late. So, you're welcome. Let's see if who we have on our YouTube right now. Oh, we have Israel Lawal. Welcome, Israel. Israel is joining us from Turkey. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us this morning, Israel. Israel says, God has been faithful to me since the beginning of the month. Glory to God in the highest. You see, people are already receiving their testimonies. I am already receiving my testimony. That's a reality for me. And I'm sure God is working wonders in your life as well. If you were not in church last week, last week was Easter Sunday, all about Jesus, all about the resurrection, teaching us that Jesus is the resurrection. Resurrection is not just an event. It is a person, and the person is Jesus Christ. I hope you keyed into that. Remember, not forgetting that Jesus is the way, the truth, the life, and the resurrection. Everything, all our entirety, is based on Christ. So let's see who we have on our YouTube page right now. Okay, thank you for joining us, Eniton. Good morning, family. Yes, this is the Fountain of Life Church family, and we're a big one. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, Stephen James, all the way from California. It's great to have you with us. We thank you for joining us this morning. So as I was saying, last week we talked about the whole resurrection and also events. There are some people that do not believe in life after death, but Jesus reassures us that yes, there is life after death because he is the life. And once we believe in him, when we leave this temporary space of our bodies, we are sure that we are resurrecting with him. That is why when Martha was talking about, oh, Lazarus is gone, Lazarus is dead. Yes, she believes in resurrection. But Jesus told her, I am the resurrection. So long as you have me here, Lazarus is alive. And what did he do? He wanted people to see the glory of God and he called Lazarus forth. So everything that needs to be alive in your life, invite Jesus to call it forth, to bring it alive, and he will surely do so. He says, come near to me and I will draw near to you. That is all we need to do, believe in him, that he exists, believe in him, that he is the God that is the God of the living and does all that he needs to do because he is a faithful God. Let's go back to our pages. Let's see who is with us. Thank you so much, our online community. If you want to share any of our links, please on IG, we are the Fountain of Life Church on IG, that's Instagram. On YouTube, we are the Fountain TV. You can also follow the handles of our senior pastor at I am that PJ on Instagram and Tolu Ijogun, that is our associate senior pastor, Pastor Tolu, on Instagram. And on YouTube, we have Jimmy Odukoya on YouTube. So feel free to follow any of these pages and be sure that God is going to bless you, bless all that concerns you, bless your family. And you know, the reason why Jesus came is so that we could win souls. Don't forget to win a soul. And that's of utmost priority to Jesus. So um, all in the haze of Easter, Easter celebration, I hope you remember that the whole essence of our being our existing is because Jesus is alive. He's not dead. He's alive. He's the God of the living. That's why he calls himself the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Though they are gone, anybody that dies and Jesus comes 
Jesus comes to give you life. So that is why he doesn't refer to them as late Abraham or late Isaac. He is the God of the living. So that is who we are to worship and who we are to serve. We have all the way from London, we have Ayo Omotayo. Welcome, Ayo, to church. We have Enito Jokotade. Oh, you miss the church atmosphere. That's why you, you can link up with us online to join us at any of our platforms. Welcome, Stella Bode Olubori. Stella says, thank you, Jesus, for another great day, my month of supernatural delivery. Yes, this is a month of supernatural delivery. Supernatural speed, supernatural acceleration in everything that concerns us. Once we believe, once we are expecting from God, he surely will give it unto us. Good morning, Church of God. That is from Wisdom Ogbonna. Welcome, Wisdom. It's great to have you here. P5 Spa says, good morning, church. We welcome you also. Good morning, PF Spa. Oh, Stella says, more anointing on our Pastor Jay and Pastor Tolu. No one will remain the same today again. Amen. God's blessings. Thank you for having us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for praying for our pastor. We always should remember that Wherever we are, remember Pastor Jimmy, Pastor Tolu, and all the pastorates in your prayers. We are all one family. We are all one body. Ola Diko Okeni says, it's my month of supernatural delivery, and the resurrection power is alive in me. Amen and amen. Peace, Adejo says, good morning, beautiful people. Thank God for bringing us to another amazing Sunday service. Yes, it's the first Sunday of April. Aren't you glad to be alive? Aren't you glad to be well? It's great to have you in church. Good morning, Mary Moses, and good morning, Akon Etuk. Good morning, good morning, our online community. It's great to have you here. Now, I want to ask, have you downloaded the Fountain app? If you have not, please go and download the Fountain app. Just go to your Play Store and you'll find it there. You can get all the sermons, all the messages, everything that concerns the Fountain of Life Church is right there on one app. Just one tap and it's there. So please do well to follow us and watch and be blessed. It's great to have you. Ijoma Nzewi, welcome. Good morning to church. God's blessings to us all in Jesus' name. And the Holy Spirit take over our church today. Amen. I say a big amen to that. Because we remember that the Holy Spirit is the pastor of this church. Everything about us is about the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit walking in us, the Holy Spirit moving through us to do great and wonderful things. Remember, this is our year of signs and wonders. And we have said that we are signs that will make people wonder. I will take that again. We are signs that will make people wonder. When people see us, they will glorify God in us. That is all what church is about. That is all what Jesus is about. Once Jesus is in your life, that is what he comes to do. He comes to beautify your life. He comes to make you have joy, have peace, have everything in abundance. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, is the one that added riches with no sorrow. So connect to Jesus today. Kemi Shodipo, you're welcome. Good morning. Kemi says, the Lord bless all the pastors and the fountaineers. I am blessed to be here. Ulua Kemi from UK, welcome. Thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. It is wonderful to be part of the service today. Yes, you're welcome, Tosin. It's great to have you, Tosin. And we, we assure you that God's presence is always with us and there is a word for you. So stay keyed, stay tuned into the presence of God. Remember, never leave the presence of God. Gift Awuse says, good morning, church. Today will be a marvelous and blessed Sunday. Amen to that, amen. You know, when you come to church, when you're gathered with fellow brethren, our brothers and sisters in Christ, that's a way where we sharpen ourselves and know that God is alive and he's there to worship with us. He's there to fill our hearts with his presence so long as our hearts are connected to him. Hallelujah to God, glory in the highest. Jeremiah, you're welcome to church. Good morning. It's a month of supernatural delivery. Yes and amen. Yes and amen to that. This month of April is a month of supernatural delivery and we can only enjoy God's presence with that. You know, during the week, it was fasting and praying, waiting on God, trusting God. And 
there was something Pastor Jay shared. He said that this month is a month of supernatural delivery. Everything that concerns us needs to answer to that. Everything that concerns us needs to answer to supernatural spirit. And he reminded of us of the wedding at Cana, that the wedding at Cana was a covenant. I know where there's a covenant. Deals are exchanged. And what happens? God is glorified. So this month, we have a covenant with God that it is a month of supernatural delivery. Everything you are laying, you are trusting God for, put it at his feet. Nothing is too big. Nothing is too small. Even me, myself, I am trusting God that everything will work out perfectly well. Because, you know, in the beginning of the year, Pastor Tolu said, we should have belief. We should have expectations. We should not come to God begging or crying. We should come expecting because our God is bigger than the biggest. So that is what we should do. Expect to get an answer from God. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah to Jesus. Good morning, honorable fountaineers. This is Nothando Kuzwayo all the way from South Africa. You're welcome. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. We're, it's great to have you with us. We have Lucas from London. Lucas, thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. Glory to Glory is watching all the way from Sydney. Thank you for joining us today for service. It's great to have you. And please remember to share the link with your friends on IG. We are the Fountain of Life Church. On YouTube, we are Fountain TV. Your friends can also download the app, Fountain of Life Church. And also, you can also follow the handles of Pastor Jimmy on YouTube. That is Jimmy Odukoya. On an IG, he is I am that PJ. And our associate Chino pastor's handle on IG is Tolu Ijogun. So please do sure to follow us on the, as various social media platforms and remain blessed in the presence of God. Jumsi 3 says, morning all, happy Sunday family, watching from Amsterdam, en route to our own dear Antic, to our own dear Antic land. Safe journey, bon voyage to you. Matthew Oguche, good morning, church. That's what he says. So Matthew is greeting each and every one of us. Good morning. And we greet you back, Matthew. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. It's great to have you here. It's always great to be in the presence of God. And remember that Jesus loves you. Jesus came to save you. Jesus came so that you would have life and have life in abundance. And it's great to have you. So I'm going to leave you in the presence of God, and do enjoy every moment and aspect of today's service. Thank you so much for joining us, and enjoy the service. Remember, it's your month of supernatural delivery. Good morning, church. Um, please, let's stand up and just bless the name of the Lord. Welcome to the first month in April. First Sunday in the month of April. Let's thank God, let's thank God, let's thank God for bringing us to today. Let's thank God for bringing us to the seventh day in the month of April. Father, we thank you, we give you praise, 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 we give you praise. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for keeping us, oh, for preservation, we thank you, for your protection, we thank you, for love, we thank you. Father, we thank you, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise, we give you praise. Oh, Father. Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you that we can come boldly to the throne of grace. We give you praise. We didn't have to queue to buy ram and goats to bring to church because of the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the blood. We thank you for salvation. We thank you for your love. Lord, we bless your holy name. We thank you. We thank you, we thank you for provision, we thank you for preservation, we thank you for your protection, we thank you for your love. Oh Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For our families, we say thank you. For our families, we say thank you. For our children, we say thank you. Oh Father, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Father, for salvation, 
that we can come boldly, that we can come boldly to the throne of grace, that we can find favor, we can obtain mercy. Father, we thank you. For salvation, we say thank you. Oh, for your promises that are yea and are amen. Father, we say thank you. Oh, kati zuzi librandesha libra de kedusa lete gedo si libra de kedusa. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name, Father. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you, Father. We say thank you for the Fountain of Life Church. We say thank you for every worker. We say thank you for every HOD. We say thank you for our senior pastor. We say thank you for our associate senior pastor. We say thank you, Father, for all of the pastors. We say thank you. Oh, kate baro sili brande kedosha, Father, for you have kept us. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Oh, la candy cozy librando shala balikado sili brade gedosa. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. John 11, chapter 4, verses 5 to 6. And there we see Jesus says the story of Lazarus. He says, When Jesus heard that, he said, This sickness is not unto death but for the glory of God, that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. So when he heard that he was sick, he stayed two more days in the place where he was. And I was thinking on this, and then you see, he says, so when he, so although Jesus loved them, he stayed where he was. And I was asking myself, if someone loves me, why would they stay back? If you want to look at the proof of love, is that when you hear I'm sick, you're running towards me the moment you hear that I'm sick. But it says, so although Jesus loved him, he stayed where he was. And the Holy Spirit was like, when you, when you have seen some delay, it's sometimes it's just God showing his love towards us it's God showing his love towards us so in today's service the Lord will want us to have a change of perspective from looking at the cup that is half is not exactly half empty it's half full the Lord has delayed because he loves us and so let's thank God for his love and so you're going to thank God for his love, but, the, but your mind will bring to remembrance everything that has been seemingly delayed or has seemingly not come yet. But let's intentionally thank God for his love right now. Father, we thank you for your love. He says, so also Jesus loved Mary, Lazarus, and, and, her, and his sister, but he stayed. He stayed where he was two more days. He stayed where he was two more days, but he says he loved them. So let's thank God for the love of Christ. Christ. Let's thank God for the love of Christ. Let's thank God that he loves us. Let's thank God that he loves us. If you need to close your eyes, if you need to focus and say, Father, thank you for loving me. Father, thank you for loving us. Father, thank you for loving us. Father, thank you for loving us. Yes, those things that have, those things that have delayed have, are popping up and you're saying, Father, thank you for loving us. The job hasn't come yet, but Father, thank you for loving me. Oh, that house hasn't come yet that thank you for loving me the salvation of that person i've been praying for he hasn't been saved yet but father thank you for loving me father thank you for loving us oh he says the lord will perfect all that concerns us father thank you for loving us psalm 138 verse 8 we say the lord will perfect all that concerns us your faithful love like is, is everlasting it lasts forever Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for loving us. Oh, Katizuli Brandegedo, Shata Vili Gizuze Belegedosa, Eso, Oh, Satana Mano Sili Bragadosa, in Jesus' name. And just to add some perspective again, in John chapter 9, you see the disciples were asking Jesus that, Oh, I must have, why is it that this guy? is blind why was he born blind was it his parents that sinned or was it the disciple was it his was it the man himself that sinned and Jesus said no nothing happened but that the works of God should be revealed in him again this is this is to us that sometimes some things haven't happened because anything happened it is not because of what happened in the past it is not because of what you did or didn't do but is that the work of God will be glorified in you we see that in John 11 again in 4 in verse 4 where Jesus said that 
this is for the glory of God. Lazarus is not going to die, but it's for the glory of God. So let's just thank God again and say, Father, thank you that you will be glorified in my life. Thank you, Lord, that in this month you are glorified in my life. Thank you that in this service, Father, I receive words, I receive instructions, I receive specific instructions, and the work of God will be revealed in my life. Father, I thank you because you will be glorified in my life. You will be glorified in my life. You will be glorified in my life in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that the works of God will be revealed in us. It will be revealed in our work. It will be revealed in the work of our hands. It will be revealed in our family. It will be revealed in our children. It will be revealed in our businesses in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that you will be glorified. In Jesus' name. Isaiah chapter 66, verse 9. That's our theme scripture for the month. And if we go there, um, just a minute, please. If you go there, you see um, the last, that verse 9. There, the writer of the, the person is asking us a question that, um, shall I bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I who cause delivery short of the womb, says your God? And a funny illustration came to mind. The Lord is not someone that would give us the car keys and not give us the car. He says, shall I bring you to the time of delivery and not cause you to give birth? Shall I who... Shall I who cost delivery shut up the womb? And that is for someone again. That your due date is coming and the, your due date is around the corner. The Lord who has carried you throughout the pregnancy would not allow you get to the due date and not give birth. Um, so again, we are going to thank God. So with all of that in mind, we are thanking God that in our month of supernatural delivery, we will receive, and as we receive all that has been pending this month, the Lord will be glorified. Again, we are thanking God. In our month of supernatural delivery, as we receive all that has been pending, the Lord is glorified. The Lord is glorified. The Lord is glorified. The work of the Lord is revealed in our lives in the name of Jesus. And in this month of supernatural delivery, the Lord is glorified. The Lord will did not, did not bring us this far to leave us. He did not bring us this far to leave us. He did not take you through all of that to leave us. You have seen God walk with you throughout the pregnancy. You have seen God walk with you throughout the process. The Lord did not bring you this far to leave you. So Father, we thank you. 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 Father, for carrying us all this while. We are sure and we are, we trust, we trust your person. Oh, we trust your person. You're not someone who abandons. You do not bring this far and then leave us. You do not bring this far and then leave us. You said you do not leave us nor forsake us. You do not bring us this far and then leave us. Father, we thank you that you carry us to the poor. You carry us to full date. You carry us to full date. You carry us to full date and we hold the fruit of that baby in our hands. Father, we thank you. Oh, we bless your holy name. That the Lord is glorified in our lives. The Lord is glorified in our lives. In the name of Jesus, a cozily brando shakati gaduza, a cozily brade gedesh, a cozy da bali de belegede. The Lord is glorified in our lives. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. The Lord hasn't brought us this far to leave us. A kuza handa bale kedu shatagadesha, but he has said it, he will do it. Oh, kabale, oh, sise belegede, rosily brande gedegede, shagadi kozize beligada. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cost delivery, says the Lord. Shall I bring to the time of birth and not cost delivery? The one who has started this will complete it. And this is the confidence that we have. This is the confidence that we have. And that he who has started it will complete it. That he who has started it will complete it. It. This is the confidence that we have. Azusa Badosha. That for every time we pray, He hears us. 
oh, this is the confidence that we have. This is the confidence that we have. This is the confidence that we have. This is the hope that we have. This is the hope that we have. That every time we pray, he hears us. For every time we pray, he hears us. This is the confidence that we have. This is the hope that we have. For every time we pray, he hears us. As Suze Belegedosha, that he who has started it will complete it. This is the confidence that we have. That he who has started it will complete it. This is the confidence that we have. He will bring us to the time of delivery. He will cause us to give birth. He will cause us to hold the fruit. This is the confidence that we have. That he who has started this will complete it. He who has started this will complete it. Begin to thank God for every aspect of today's service, from the worship to the promise to the, to the choir administration, to Grace Levi's administration. Father, we thank you to the word. Begin to thank the Lord for every aspect of today's service, that the Lord will be glorified in today's service. We lift the name of Jesus high in today's service. Oh, no man shall take the glory in today's service. Father, we thank you that the Holy Spirit is present. And the, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit's work will be evident in today's service. Father, we thank you. 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 We thank Thank you for the souls that will be won in today's service. Healings in the body, healings in the mind. Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please come here repeat after me. This month, God is glorified in my life. This month, I receive all that God has in store for me. This month, there is a supernatural dispatch of all I need for life and godliness. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, somebody thankful for this brand new season. This is the beginning of the second quarter of 2024. Let somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah.
because we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We will say of the Lord, He is our refuge and our fortress. Our God in Him shall we trust. Surely He will deliver us from the snare of the fowler and from every perilous pestilence. He will cover us with His feathers and under his wings shall we take refuge. His truth shall be our shield and our buckler. We shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at our side, ten thousand at our right hand, but it shall not come near us. Only with our eyes shall we look and see the reward of the wicked because we have made the Lord our refuge even the most high our dwelling place no evil shall befall us nor shall any plague come near our dwelling place for he will give his angels charge over us to keep us in all our ways in their hands they shall bear us up lest we dash our foot against a stone we shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, upon the young lion and the serpent shall we trample under our feet. Because we have set our love upon him, therefore he will deliver us. He will set us up on high because we have known his name. We will call upon him and he will answer us. He will be with us in trouble. He will deliver us and honor us. With long life will he satisfy us and show us his salvation. Morning on Fountain News. General evangelism comes up this Saturday. What Explosion Conference starts next Sunday. Collection of items for the less privileged holds today. Good morning and welcome to this episode of Fountain News. I am Bukola Balugun. Our Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to go into the world and preach the gospel. Here is an opportunity for you to do so as you join others this Saturday, that is April 13th, for the monthly general evangelism. Takeoff time is 9 a.m. The team will be taken off from the church premises. Please make plans to be a part of soul winning exercise. It will also be a good opportunity to invite people to the Word Explosion Conference. Yes! Are you ready for the 2024 World Explosion Conference? It takes off next Sunday, that is April 14th, and will be rounded off on Sunday, April 21st. The theme for this year's conference is Signs and Wonders. It promises to be eight days of explosive ministrations from renowned speakers like Bishop Michael Konkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Tarrat, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, Pastor Kunle Chorion, and our own Senior Pastor Jimmy Odukoya, and Associate Senior Pastor Toluani Odukoya. Trust me, you don't want to miss any of the days. Please tell everyone, like everyone you know about it. Collection of items for the less privileged holds today. Drop-off is at the Fountain Gardens from 8.15 a.m. to 8.45 a.m. and immediately after the service. All items should be in good condition. Everyone who has donated to the Hope Center, the department is saying a big thank you for your support in the month of March. Your continued donation of food stuff and clothing items is well appreciated. God bless you abundantly. If you are in need of support in getting up-to-date information on job opportunities, or you are in need of career guidance, the Career Development Unit of the Hope Center is just the right place to visit. Please visit the Hope Center office behind the Youth Church every first and second Sunday of the month after the service. That means they will be available today immediately after service to attend to you. 
Are you social? Are you ready to join an army in taking the gospel to the ends of the earth socially? Do you have up to 500 to 1,000 followers on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, Snapchat, Threads, and X? If your answer is yes, this call is for you. The content media and digital platform teams need volunteer influencers who will assist in pushing publicity materials for the World Explosion Conference and other events. Interested persons should please scan the QR code on the screen to join the WhatsApp community. Fountain Sports Club has set aside three Saturdays in April for its regular aerobic exercises and would like you to join them. They are Saturday the 6th, the 13th, the 20th. Time is 6.45 a.m. and the venue remains the Fountain Gardens. Please come along with your family and friends. Watch out for more variety of games like football, basketball, tennis, tug of war, and other track field events all coming soon. I look forward to that, you know. Abraham and Sarah Fellowship, that is the senior citizens of this church, will be meeting this Friday, that is April 12th. Meeting time is 2.30 p.m. and the venue is a church premises. If you are 55 years old and above, you are especially invited to join them. And in other news, Children's Church holds both on-site and online today. Online classes start at 9.15 a.m. Home Fellowship holds this evening at 6 o'clock. Singles Fellowship holds tomorrow at 6 p.m. Bible study continues online this Tuesday at 6 p.m. Prayer meeting follows immediately at 7 p.m. You can participate by joining any of the church's social media platforms. Shower service holds on site and online this Thursday at 9 a.m. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Fountain News. Do enjoy the rest of the service. The founding of Life Church extends our heartfelt gratitude to all her esteemed partners, the Circle of Legacy Builders, for their unwavering support in achieving her goals. As a legacy church, the church is undergoing significant upgrades to enhance both on-site and online experiences. We cordially invite you to join us in making a difference by either joining our partnership program or choosing a specific project you would like to support. To be a partner, open a web browser and navigate to partners.tfolc.org. Scroll down the page until you see a prominent red button labeled Let's Build. This will lead you to a registration form. Fill out the details, including your first name, last name, email address, and phone number. Enter the amount you wish to donate. You can also choose your preferred currency, dollars, pounds, naira, from the drop-down menu. Select your preferred billing frequency, monthly, quarterly, etc., from the provided options. Once all information is filled, click the Submit button to complete your registration. To donate to a specific project, open a web browser and navigate to Partners tfolc.org scroll down the page until you see a black button labeled support you will arrive at a page showcasing various departments with specific project needs choose the department you would like to support within the chosen department you will see a list of specific projects or items you can donate towards select the one you would like to support a donation form will appear enter your full name email address and phone number. Enter your desired donation amount and choose your preferred currency, dollars, pounds, naira from the drop-down menu. Once all information is filled, click the Submit button to complete your donation to the chosen project. Visit our website, partners.tfolc.org or scan this QR code for more information. God bless you as you continue to support his work. You were created for something special, something extraordinary. Are you ready to be a sign and a wonder to your generation? 
The Fountain of Life Church presents Word Explosion Conference 2024. Come experience eight days of divine revelations, transformative teachings, and powerful worship with the theme, Signs and Wonders. The event holds from Sunday, April 14 to Sunday, April 21st. Speaking at the conference are renowned and seasoned preachers, Bishop Mike Okonkwo, Bishop Tudor Bismarck, Dr. Francis Miles, Pastor Mike Todd, Apostle Joshua Selman, Pastor Ibuko Awoshika, and Pastor Kunle Shorio. Hosts are Pastor Jimmy Odukoya and Pastor Tuluwani Odukoya. Venue is the Fountain of Life Church, 12 Industrial Estate Road, of Town Planning Way, Ilupeju, Lagos. The morning sessions will start at 9 a.m., while the evening sessions will start at 5 p.m. Don't miss this opportunity to encounter the supernatural and witness the manifestation of God's power. Word Explosion conference of 2024 where faith meets with revelation and lives are changed forever tell somebody to tell somebody about it still doing still doing it so we have entered a month of Uncommon mercy. Somebody say uncommon mercy. David always knew how to appeal to the mercy of God because David knew that even in God's anger, his name is mercy. What types of mercy that I will share with you today? So one of the first types of mercy that is what I would like to call prevailing mercy. It is mercy available for all. You can't run out of God's mercy. It's inexhaustible. It's tied to his nature. The second type of mercy is encompassing mercy. The purpose of this mercy is for protection. There have been many times in your life where you have found yourself in situations where you should have been taken out but what you did not know was mercy was surrounding you. The third one, show mercy. Mercy. The purpose of this mercy is to provide support, is to become a pillar when we need it the most. It is dependable, it is our spiritual collateral. We can take it to the back. The last one, great mercy. This kind of mercy is the one that establishes you. This is the one that takes you from the back to the front. What was significant about this, you must understand that based on birth, great mercy will put you in rooms that you have no business being. Even when your own father and mother forget you, the Lord can never forget his own. And so when we talk about the cost of mercy, I want to take it from two perspectives. I want to first start from God's perspective. And I don't think we fully appreciate or understand what it is for a God to give his son. Jesus began to pray and he was filled with so much pain. He was whipped 39 times. When the Romans would beat, they had horsemen with metal objects shot each one. Now think of nine or ten of them. Anytime they would whip, everything hooks onto the flesh. So when they pull back, you are ripping as the weight of the body is leaning forward. And then when he couldn't hold it anymore. And he was there, not for one hour, not for six hours. He's on the cross, his bones displaced. But to fulfill the prophecy, not one bone was broken because he wanted to fully pay the price. All that pertains to life and I have given it to you. What more are you looking for? But how do you access? How do you, how do you make this? You must understand what has been done. Jesus paid the price in full. All we have is the blood. All we would ever need is the blood. The blood speaks of greater things. What is making you afraid? Ensure that you are a useful tool in the hands of God. And God is raising up a generation that are on fire for him. And I say, my pastor. 
notwithstanding, I have a great future in God and I'm going to pursue it. So welcome to April. It is a month of supernatural delivery. morning church some years ago in the old auditorium one of our pastors said something very profound she was actually um, telling us to keep the bond of this house she said as much as possible let us keep the bond of this house and that word bond has Stayed with me for a very long time, for many, many, many years. It is that bond that have kept the church going. You know, it is bond that bond a family together, that makes a family family. You touch one member of a family, you touch the entire family. So you and I have been bonded together in this house. We are more than a church. We are indeed a family. <laughs> Hallelujah. So you touch me, you touch everybody here. You touch, everybody's touched here, you touch me. You touch the national pastor, you are touching the entire fountain. And the national pastor always say, once a fountain here, always a fountain here. And the Bible reminded us that a three-fourth goal can never easily be broken. And look around you. We are more than three here. We are more than a thousand here. Hallelujah. Very soon be millions. Hallelujah. That's how they knock us down. And they thought we are down. And they look up. They see us at the rear. When they thought we are finished, we are dancing right in front of them. As we recite this word this morning, we are not just singing a family song. We are confessing. And we are telling ourselves who we are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome home, my brother and my sister this morning. Could you please rise up on our feet, please? As we confess this all together.
Hallelujah. Church, please, you may be seated. Last Sunday, whilst the Easter production was on, at some point, especially the scene where Jesus was nailed to the cross, I had a moment and I was asking, is the blood not enough? I had a moment, I was going through some things, thoughts, things about my life, and I asked, is the blood not enough? Alas, the blood is enough. The blood of Jesus is enough. It says in Hebrews 9, verse 13 and 15, that he offered himself. He freely gave himself and shed his blood. And what did that blood do? It redeemed us. It reconciled us. It restored us. It gave us a new life, a new name. We were justified. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to encourage you with our song. It simply says, the blood still works. Whatever it is, bring it to the foot of the cross. Bring it to the foot of the cross. The blood still works. Hallelujah.
celebrate the best choir this side of heaven. Sorry, was it me? It seems like the celebration for Grace Levi's was bigger than celebration for Jesus. It must have been my ears. So we will celebrate our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the one who is and is to come, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. The one that shed his blood, that still speaks of greater things. Somebody give my hallelujah. Sit in the presence of God. When my father got excited in the spirit, he would woohoo. Woohoo! It is such an honor to be called a child of God. It is such a privilege to be called it. Just celebrate Jesus one more time. We are all here because of Jesus. We are all here because of Jesus. We have an amazing promise today. John 14, 13. Hallelujah. I felt like joining the choir again to just sing that's the blood. Oh. It's still, it's still, you know, but I'm calm. Can we read together? And whatsoever you ask in my name, that I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. I will read it in the amplified version. And I will do whatever you ask in my name as a representative. This I will do so that the Father may be glorified and celebrated in the Son. I look for what the meaning of representative meant. It means standing or acting for another, especially 
through delegated authority. I'll read that again. Standing or acting for another, especially through delegated authority. Can we quickly open our Bibles to Luke 10, 19? Luke 10, 19 reads in the Amplified Version, listen carefully, I have given you authority that you now possess, that you now, in this very moment today, right now, you possess, to thread on serpents and scorpions and the ability to exercise the authority. So you just don't have it, you also have the ability to exercise the authority over all the power of the enemy, Satan, and nothing will in any way harm you. Let's go back to our promise. Our promise reads, and I will do whatever you ask in my name. Can somebody shout that name? And I will do whatever you ask in my name as a representative. Who is the representative? You are the representative. You are the representative. This I will do so that my father may be glorified and celebrate the son. God is going to do what he's going to do, not because of you, but because of Jesus. And he has given you the authority, not just given it to you, he has given you the ability to exercise. The blood has been working. The blood is still working. The blood will continue to work. But it's to the ability that you exercise that you get the manifestation of the blood. How are you exercising your authority this morning? Sometimes it's too big to believe. Turn to your neighbor and say, believe. Turn to another neighbor and say, believe. Has somebody ever gifted you something so big that you just sat for days, just pondering about how this has happened. Has it happened to you before? Somebody blessed you with a new car and you just parked the car and looked at the car. Is this my car? Is, ah, sorry, is this my This is my You've been asking for 48 hours. You've not driven the car. You've not opened the door of the car. You've not entered the car. You've not started the engine. Some, some things are too big for us to believe. And maybe that's why we're not exercising this authority. God has given you the authority in this realm. It might be too big for your mind to comprehend, but the Holy Ghost will help you comprehend it because you must exercise this authority. You have it. Look, and I said, you have it, and you also have the ability to exercise it. You have the authority, and you have the ability to exercise it. So this morning, as you get up, I want you to exercise that authority. This is our year of signs and wonders. You will not go past 2024 and not experience the manifestation of signs and wonders because you have the authority and you have the ability to exercise it he says whatsoever you ask in my name you have the name of Jesus you have the blood you have the word you have the Holy Ghost what more do you need this morning exercise that authority speak to that situation in the name of Jesus, with the authority that he has given to you. He says, in my name, you will step on scorpions. You will lay your hands on the sick, they will recover. You have the power, and you have the authority. If you don't know how to exercise it, ask the Holy Ghost to show you this one. Say, Holy Spirit, help me. Help me understand what I have and what you've given to me. Help me understand what I have. Help me understand the power you have given to me. I will not leave 2024. I will not leave April without understanding the power I have in the name of Jesus. And this morning, I bring every situation before the master. The Bible says that the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow. What is that thing that's refusing to bow? Call the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus and it must obey. Whatever situation, Whatever situation, challenge it this morning. The Bible says when you mention that name, something must change. Whatsoever you ask, what are you asking for? I dare you to ask for something that only God can do. Ask for a God thing this morning. Not something that man can do. Ask for a God thing this morning. Ask for a God thing this morning. Don't you want to see the manifestation of God? Ask God for a manifestation. This is your month of supernatural delivery. Things must change. Things must turn around. It cannot be business as usual. 
give the devil notice on that situation. By this time tomorrow, something must change. Give the devil notice on that situation. What is that situation? I always say, what are you all great mountain before Toluwani? You shall become a plain. You were created. Mountains were created. What are we talking about here? Mountains were created. It shall become a plain. And the rebel seek a yandara. Open your mouth and declare. Open your mouth and declare. Over that situation. Over that circumstance. There must be a manifestation. You have the authority. You have the authority. You have the authority. In the name of Jesus. You came this morning to meet with Jesus. And you will meet with him in Jesus name. He will meet you at the very point of your need. Thank you Holy Ghost. We receive a manifestation in the name of Jesus. We call forth a manifestation in the name of Jesus. We receive a manifestation in the name of Jesus. This month will surely be your month of supernatural delivery. We shall not see the wind of the rain, but it shall be full. We don't know how it's going to happen, but God will make it happen. God will glorify himself in your life. God will glorify himself in your situation. He alone will be glorified. For in Jesus' name we pray. Somebody shout hallelujah. Lift your hands to your Father and just thank you. Woohoo! I'm excited in my spirit. Thank you, Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit.
doesn't feel like it confesses. You're good to me as you are. Somebody doesn't believe it. Sing it again. You are so good to me as you are. No matter what the devil is throwing at you right now. I want you to believe what you're saying right now. Oh, Jesus, you are so good to me. I believe it. Yours is the kingdom. Yours is the power.
somebody just worship him. She's giving adoration, she's giving praise. This God. Who are we that you are so mindful of us? Who are we that you love us so? love that you have given us what can we say but thank you for your unending love for your unending grace for your never failing mercy forever prevailing mercy for your sure mercy for your encompassing mercy for your great mercy new every morning what have we done that you love us so? Who are we that you are so mindful of us? But yet, if you would die again, you would do it a thousand times to redeem a wretch like me. So Father, I say thank you. We as a church say thank you. For your precious Holy Spirit, we say thank you. Father, you are and you continue to be the pastor of this church. Have your way. We are nothing without you. It is in you that we live. It is in you that we move. It is in you that we have our being. Jesus, take your place. We welcome you now and always, oh God. Father, as we go into this service, oh God, I ask you, your humble servant, that I decrease, oh God, and you alone increase. Let them see all of you and none of me, oh God. Fill my mouth with the words you would have me speak, oh God. Let the entrance of your word bring light and illuminate every dark place in our lives in the name of Jesus. Father, oh God, I submit my tongue unto you, oh God, and I ask you, oh God, to make my tongue like that of the pen of the ready writer to inscribe on the hearts and minds of those who are ready to receive. I thank you, oh God, that your word go forth and it goes like good root soil to fall in good seed to fall in good soil and let it take root, oh God, and bring the harvest that you have already required, oh God. Father, I command the devil and all his minions who will try to stop, repeat, and steal the word, and I command the devil to go in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that as we have entered our month of supernatural delivery, every promise that you have spoken concerning us, we will see it come to pass in the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you. Spirit of the living God, we worship you. Take all the honor, take all adoration, all thanksgiving be unto you, O oh God. In Jesus' name. If you believe it, say amen. amen. If you receive it, shout amen. amen. If you know that God has done it, give God a shout of hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. You may be seated. Please appreciate ASP and the Grace Levites. Thank you so much. Amen, amen. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor. Welcome to church.
If they're not smiling at you, find somebody else. Say neighbor. 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 If you knew who I was, if you knew the things God was doing in my life, if you know how bright my future is, you will do yourself a favor while you still have the chance. Collect my number now. Take that selfie with me now. Collect my autograph now. Because it will not always be like this. If you believe it, shout amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. And please just appreciate our online community as well. Welcome them streaming from all over the world. We love and appreciate you. Um, it's good to have you all in service today. Amen. Really quickly, before I jump into the word, the certain things I want to do, I want to recognize the presence of Dr. Promise and Queen Esther Olomo and their team from RCCG, House of Grace Crofton. Where are they? Please, we appreciate them. Can you put the um, camera on them? Not on me. There we go. There they are. And they have been sent by Pastor Isaac and Sumba Adeyemo. So please appreciate them from all the way from Crofton, Maryland. Not Maryland, Dikejao. Maryland, they are abroad. <laughs> One more time, I appreciate them. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with us in service today. Amen, amen. Um, I remember that um, a couple of weeks ago, I would mentioned that I would give the church some kind of report on, on how we've um, uh, allocated the money that has come in. How many people remember that? Okay. So, as a man of integrity, I, I have to honor that. We didn't do it last Sunday because of Easter, but I'm not going to give you... We're under audit right now, so I'm not going to give you exact figures. And so if you want to get more detailed figures, if you come for workers' meeting. Amen? Come for workers' meeting. But I will give you a general idea of what we've done. Now, obviously, apart from all the administrative expenses that has to do with staff and diesel and diesel and diesel <laughs> and diesel and electricity, and everything that you see, you know, all the operational costs, most of the money that you have given has gone towards projects. And when we say projects is, you know, things that we need to do in church to make it a global church. Amen. Projects and benevolence. Amen. And so in the last six months, and when I say six months, from the time um, myself and ASP has come into, you know, in, into this position, we have spent in excess of over a hundred million um, uh, yes, you can. And we're talking about just towards projects and benevolence. And I want you, if we put it on the screen real quick, I want to show them a pie chart real quick of where that has gone. Next slide, because of time, really quickly. If, oh, okay, it's kind of blurry. But the biggest chart that you see part there is projects, right? And when we say projects, are the things that we're doing in church. So, for instance, in the projects, we're able to purchase five new cameras, Sony cameras, 4K cameras, that's because of you. Um, the lights that you see um, on stage, the 20 channel ATEM microphones, all of that is projects. There are a lot of projects that we are doing and we will continue to do to make Fountain a global church, amen? We have children's church coming. We have a lot of things coming. So 38.3%, go back to the pie chart goes back to the projects and then you can see the second biggest part is 34.36% and that is financial assistance. I want to say financial assistance. <laughs> you know in this economy financial assistance is good. So 34.3% of that money that I just mentioned has gone towards financial assistance and helping our church members, helping those in need. You can appreciate that. Um, it has gone towards financial assistance. Put that on the screen. The next biggest one you see up there is 15.97, and that is debt cancellation. Now, we have helped a lot of our members in church to pay off their debts. You can celebrate that as well. Okay? Keep it on the screen, 15.9. The next thing you see, I think the next biggest one is... Um, bus rentals, because we have provided buses to take people from different parts to help with transportation costs. 
going to different locations. So we've done that with bus rentals. And I think the next biggest one I see is um, education. Where's education? There it is. Oh, actually, I lied. Before, yes, bus rentals, then businesses. Oh, oh. Uh, can't even see which is bigger. Educational assistance. This thing's even confusing me. Wait, sorry. Let me go to my one where it's clear. So I can be right. Oh, yeah. Educational. Oh, before bus rentals. I lie. After financial assistance is educational assistance. Now we have helped a lot of people pay their school fees, send people to school, supplement their scholarships. And that is because of their generosity. So after educational assistance, we have bus rentals. After bus rentals, we have, um, I think, car purchases, helping people to purchase cars and pay off their car notes. Also, we have medical assistance. We have rent assistance. Now, if you've never been in a position where you needed help with rent, you won't clap. But if you have needed help with rent and that has come through, we have helped rent assistance paying off medical bills, and even assisting with funeral assistance as well. When we've had people lose loved ones, stepped in as a church, because once a loss for one is a loss for all, amen? And there's nothing like having your church community stand with you and help you through those toughest times. So this is a good idea, a general breakdown of how we have used the resources that you have given to us as we continue to bless the lives of the church community and those around. And it's because of your generosity. So please appreciate Jesus. Appreciate yourselves. We thank you for everything that you are doing. We just want you to know that your money is having an impact on lives. Lives are being changed. Families are being restored. People are going to school. People are getting health care needs. People are getting their debts paid off. People are getting money. We've had people in church um, sending boxes of food, not once, not twice. A lot of people, individuals who have asked to be anonymous, sending bags of rice for people and indomie and noodles and and this is happening because of your generosity so please one more time appreciate god thank you so much fountain our online community for all you have done and we want to encourage for to continue to partner with us if you have an interest to partner with us please scan the qr code become a partner today whether you want to assist in the projects or with partnerships god continue to bless you as we continue to do his work amen okay um, I think that's all I had for the announcements. How many people are ready for the word today? Oh, come on, come on, come on. You ready for the word? So today we're going to, somehow I find myself, it's like we didn't plan it, but somehow it's like in this new season of my life, it's series, series, series. Everything is series. I, I can't I just preach message one. Let's just finish. But alas, I find myself doing series. So we're starting a new series today. Um, and we are starting, and we're going to call this one the birthing process. The birthing process. Somebody say the birthing process. You know, all too, how many people have ever heard somebody say, I am pregnant with promise? Uh, has anybody ever heard that? You know, um, and a lot of times we talk about being pregnant with promise and bringing to fruition, the things that God has spoken over us or concerning us, but how many people know that birthing is a process? Now, for anyone who, and I'm sure the women in here who have been pregnant, can I get a, a, a witness? Anyone who has been pregnant in here and delivered babies, can I get a witness? <laughs> I'm sure it resonates with them deep down. Birthing is a process. And even if you've not been pregnant before, you know somebody who has been pregnant, birthing is a process. So how do you become pregnant with promise? And when we are pregnant with promise, how do we bring this promise into fruition? Today I'm going to use um, Mary as a backdrop um, because I think Mary is a prime example of someone who was pregnant with promise both literally and figuratively. Amen. She received a promise both literally and figuratively. And she birthed a promise both literally and figuratively. Are you with me? 
Let's turn really quickly to Luke 1. Let's start there. Luke 1, we know the story. And let's go to about verse 31. Because of time. Luke 1, 31. Put it on the screen. And a bit of context, Mary is living her life, minding her business. Everything is good. Everything is great. Everything is gravy. All of a sudden, she has a visitation. And an angel comes to her and brings her tidings of good news. I don't know about you. I don't know if, those new, if I received the news as good. Because whether you know it or not, sometimes God's plan for your life will completely jack up your whole world. In other words, it will turn your life upside down. Because a lot of times we have our own agenda for what we want to do with our lives. We have an idea of how our lives are going to be. If you ask me what I was going to be when I was younger, I was going to be an aeronautical engineer. Yes. I was going to be an aeronautical engineer. And then at some point, when I was going to university, I was like, hey, you know, okay, I'm going to do computer science. You know, it's going to be cool, computers. And then I started taking computer science and realized that programming is not for me. That programming life is not for me. Just be sitting down. And when we were programming, it was back in the day, those who know anything about computing and programming, when you're writing Java program on MS-DOS, MS-DOS, all these Java environments, all these ones that we have AI now, that just, it will just put everything for you. Shh, we didn't have that. You will go and open Notepad, C prompt prompt, and start to type. Hey, and then you can be there, you run a whole program, debug it, and you wait. And it can be an error. And one error can be because there was a space between your semicolon and comma. You'll be there for two hours. God punish the devil. <laughs> I realized very quickly that that life was not for me. So I said, you see this computer science thing? It's like, we're going to shelve it. And I said, okay, let's do MIS, Management Information Systems. Let's do a bit of computing, a bit of business, you know. After I said, let's not deceive ourselves. Let's just leave computing completely. So let's just focus on business. So I did business. Came out, was consulting. I was in Accenture for a bit. And then went into oil and gas. And after oil and gas, we went into public trainings for corporates in innovation, leadership, and management. Yeah, so the pastor goes school now. <laughs> you know, we say, you know, when we went into innovation, leadership, and training management, we started a company. It was me and Pastor Shobo. We were a two-man army, but we had a heavy board. Heavy board. All my uncles, aunties, pastors, they were in my board. They didn't have any say. <laughs> How many years of experience do you have? 60 years of experience because of our board. Yes, as you can see here, Pastor Blessing Awoshika, Pastor Ebukuma, she's, she's our board member. Do you know how many I used that name? You, you see? Pastor Ergo, Pastor Paisi, they didn't even know I was using them. <laughs> All of them, we used them. With our full chest. Pastor Lasher, we used all of them. All of them in Dangote boardroom to collect tender and we won. Yes. Anyways. Lest I digress. So, I had plans for my life, then I fell into acting. I just fell into it. I'm serious. It was not a plan. I fell into it. They were shooting a movie in church one day. I said, guys, I can act. Okay, are you sure? Yes, give me a role. Desmond said, ah, you're good. Try it. I said, eh, if there's any space, let me know. That's how my acting journey began. Six years later, I'm in Hollywood. I'm a, <laughs> you know, yes, you can clap. It's not easy. It's never been done. It's God. I appreciate God, yes. Not, not in this part of the world, you know. Um, you know, my life is going good. I'm like, okay, holy, holy, let's do it. Let's go there. And then next thing you know, God said, hold up, come here. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, I find myself here. <laughs> so, <laughs> all that to say, the plans God has for your life will jack your plans up. Mary was living her life. Everything was good. Everything was great. And then the angel appears to her. And in verse 31, he says to her, what does he say? He says, listen carefully. You will what? Conceive in your womb and give birth to a son and you shall name him. He says, listen carefully. 
you will conceive. She's like, well, hold on. <laughs> hold up, hold up. How can this be? How will I do this without a man? And he tells her, Holy Spirit will come upon you and will empower you, will come over you, and then you conceive and you... <sighs> wow. And that began the process of her birthing. You see, the first, what you will find that in pregnancy, there are three trimesters, right? The first trimester is what? Conception. So let me say conception. The second trimester, we'll call it growth or developmental or developmental growth. And the third one we will call delivery. So let me say delivery. So today we'll be dealing with the first trimester. So let me say conception. And so he says to her, you will conceive. And I ask myself a question, and every time I read, I always try to understand the words being used in the original context. So I pulled out my strongs, looked at the Greek meaning for the word conceive, and the Greek word for conceive is sulambano. And sulambano means, interestingly, the first thing I saw, it says conceive means to seize or to take one as prisoner. The word conceive means to seize or to take one as prisoner. So I wrote down very quickly, I said to conceive anything or anyone, that which must be conceived must seize you, must take hold of you as its prisoner. I'll say it again. To conceive anything or anyone, that which must be conceived must seize you and must take hold of you as its prisoner. What are you saying? Even biologically, you would find that once you have an embryo or a fetus, for it to grow and develop, to be conceived as a baby, what happens? There must be a season. What do you mean? There is a process called implantation. Are you with me? And with implantation, what happens? The fetus takes prisoner of the uterus wall and holds on to it. And until the time of delivery, doesn't let go. Somebody say, to seize. If you will conceive anything, it must take hold of you and seize you as its prisoner. Look at Philippians 3.12, Amplified Version. Let me show you something. Philippians 3.12. Everything I say must back it up by scripture. Philippians 3.12. Now this is Paul speaking. He says this. Not that I have already obtained it. This goal of being Christ-like or having already been made perfect. But I actively what? Press on so that I might take hold. Take hold of that perfection. For which Christ Jesus did what? Took hold of me and made me his own. Paul is saying here, I must seize that which I've been seized by. You see, Christ has seized me and taken a hold of me. And so now I must hold on to the one that has held me. 